Until now. Here we go. This Woo. <laughs> has never been done. Flying face down, arms free on the world's newest roller coaster. We knew we wanted to get people into the flying position. We had prone. prone to be Superman, to be horizontal and flying. Nothing between you and the ground or the sky through a half mile of stomach twisting vertical loops. A 50 mile an hour ride in 52 seconds. This was its first test ride. The project designer is Anthony Esparza. That worked. Every part of it. We nailed it. It's the first radical design change in roller coasters in 10 years. Designers know how many G-forces, how many twists, what the body can absorb. In the race to design the newest, the best coaster, the challenge is new thrills, anticipation, scary stuff. <laughs> this one starts you backwards. Riders don't know what's going to happen. Then it flips you over, eyes down. 110 foot drop, you come within 10 feet of the ground. Up, down, and over in a horseshoe twist, and for good measure, a double inverted corkscrew. Whew! All that at about the posted speed of a lot of freeways. For many, thrill rides are the big draw to amusement parks. Whether it's traditional wood or all steel, coaster designers live by three words. Higher. Oh boy, here we go. Faster. When it's more scary, it's more fun. Scarier. No, 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 no! The new flying coaster is at Great America near San Francisco. It's the amusement park's ninth high-speed thrill ride. It's all testing now, making sure it's safe. No free rides, even for reporters. So... Little roller coasters can be thrilling, too, and not nearly as scary. When the new ride opens next year, it will answer one of the most frequently asked questions of those are ride coasters. What's next? What did next cost? $17 million. Six years in the making, from first idea to drawings to first ride. The process is really fun. We, it's, it's like putting an opera together. You have to choreograph the, the whole thing. Not for the weak of heart or stomach, but for everyone else, leaving them screaming for even more on the next monster ride. Roger O'Neill, NBC News, Santa Clara, California. Very happy for all of them.